subscribe? No. You're gonna subscribe? No. Not my champion. Free Sammy. No. Hey guys, welcome back to another explosive episode of Dave and Jay's Power Bomb. It's August 12th and it's Tag Team Appreciation Night on AEW Dynamite. It's two of us, like me and Dave. That's right. Power Bomb. Tag Team. Our finishing move is the blockchain. That's right, Crypto Coyote. That's another channel of his. It does quite well. And uh, right off the hop in a must beat Vince match, we got the Young Bucks versus Evil Uno and Stu Grayson of the Dark Order. Yeah, all hail the Dark Order. And uh, they got uh, the Young Bucks got jumped right away by three mass members of the uh, Dark Order before the, before the bell rang. And uh, that gave the Dark Order the advantage. And oh, uh, the, the, the pre match beatdowns. That's oh right. man, that was such an intelligent move. Only Brody Lee would mastermind such a strategic entrance. Power in numbers, just like Vince has, but we beat him every Wednesday night in the ratings where it counts. And uh, yeah, it was like you can't even look away during these matches. Like, I recorded as much as I could. Uh, we had a super kick party that was pretty crazy. Everyone yeah. was taking the beats there. And then uh, what else happened? Uh, Grayson like did some crazy move where he walked along one of those guys' arms like a tightrope and booted someone yeah, in the yeah. head. It was pretty and was athletic. Even, like, walking on their heads and everything. Yeah. That was nuts. And then uh, near the end there, uh, the young box, one of them, they get separated from each other, and one of them like is fighting up the entrance way. And uh, then uh, the Dark Order members block the uh, entranceway pipe, and uh, so he can't get out. So it's basically a handicap match. But uh, however, uh, one of those Young Buck guys were able to pull it off with a quick roll up, and uh, they got the victory over the Dark Order. But the Dark Order got the win last week where it counted against all of the Elite and those yeah. FTR bums. And uh, so it's a good feud they got going. And then uh, we have MJF exiting his campaign office right before we go to commercial break. And uh, they come back and they're asking people, who's your favorite tag team of all time, Jay? They're, My favorite yeah, tag they're team? They're asking people who well, I'm going to quickly just go with, uh, I, I was a big fan of Demolition from other company. Yeah, I'd have to say another company tag team as well. I'm going to Veg and Christian. They're from our neck of the woods as well. So uh, those are ours. And then, uh, so MJF's in the ring. He's doing his uh, state of the business address and he's the number one candidate for the uh, AEW championship. Hashtag not, not my champion. Not my champion. Not anybody's champion. And then uh, he's ahead in the polls right now. An astonishing plus 500% to John Moxley's minus 1,000%. John Moxley, because he's the minus 1 million percent or whatever it is, he's probably native, responsible for the Native American genocide. I wouldn't doubt it. And uh, then so MJF is cutting the promo from a position uh, Moxley is familiar with. MJF gets down and lays down the ring and he's looking up at the lights like most ham and eggers and jobbers do in their career. And uh, then um, you hear Moxley's uh, music. Enough is enough. MJF's telling the truth too much. Yeah, yeah. He's coming on out like I'm part of the NWO or something like that. Yeah, it's some stupid no, one man. He's like, I'm the Gestapo. I am those bastards from Belarus beating down the citizens. So MJF being the smart tactician he is, he's like, cut him off at the bums, cut him off at the bums. Cause like he knows Moxley always comes through the crowd, right? And everyone's bums according to MJF. So like all his uh, cabinet like disperses, including Lee Jobson and Wardlow to cut off him, cut him off at the bums. But then Moxley, he twists it. He comes through the entrance way like a regular person. Yeah. He's like, totally that's his sneak totally attack. Screw him up. I'm gonna screw him up and become tend him a normal person and come through the entrance. And then, um, yeah, so then he gives uh, MJF the paradigm shift, uh, unfortunately. It was a crazy supercell, like, MJF sold that like Sammy would. Yeah, he almost thought he was, like, actually injured. Yeah. But he probably was. He's probably going to come out with a neck brace all next week. Yeah, look out for maybe this video will be called AEW Injury Report. Who knows? We always tell the truth. We nailed Ray Phoenix and uh, Britt Baker. And then uh, we have words from Matt Hardy uh, because he got busted up for real during that uh, he got a chair thrown at him by Sammy last week, justifiably so. Yeah. He's on 10 day medical clearance, um, but then he beats up a referee. <laughs> Remember, he beat up the ref at yeah, the end. The ref had a leather oh, yeah, jacket yeah, yeah, and a backwards jacket hat like, on. Looking like Sammy. And he and beats and smokes like, yeah, him. Yeah, he gets knocked over and then you can see cool. the stripes up right up there. Wasn't cool. 
But uh, speaking of cool, well, actually, this wasn't cool either. Scorpio Sky versus Cody for the TNT Championship match. And uh, JR was billing this match throughout the show as, This has the potential to be the match of the year, I'm telling you guys. Hoo Barbecue sauce in my veins. But uh, Scorpio Sky has a cool new entrance. I haven't seen him in a while since he's not on Dynamite so much. No, just totally, like, uh, like busted down the door. And, like Blocks, kicks in the door, right? Yeah. yeah it's it's like, like, white man's going down. Yeah, like, no. I'm going to break. Down We're all the doors break down and these the frat house house ceilings doors. and yeah, yeah Cody's give me your sorority girls. Oh boy. So then yeah, and then Cody is coming down with his entire family and they're saying like oh his entourage is growing and uh, he's got an improved a new improved TNT championship title. I think it looks great. Yeah. Yeah, uh, it looks really great. And uh, also they are billing him now as the prince of pro wrestling. Probably because wow. Jay calls him a frat boy too much, so now that's what Cody's being known what for. So is. they gotta get to get it away from there. Not my champion. Oh, it works oh Cody's two ways. my champion. And yeah, uh, but, but Cody's like out there being weird, blowing kisses to the crowd like a heel. I know Dave the house boy was like, "Oh my god, the frat boy just like oh, blew me a kiss. I hope he gets me to scrub his shoes." Oh jeez, we're not there yet, man. I hold crypto as well, so I'll never get there. I'm not scrubbing another man's shoes. I'm rich. <laughs> All right. So um, then, uh, yeah, this match wasn't the match of the year. This anything but. This is the worst match of the show. There was one point near the end where uh, Scorpio Sky is going for his finishing move, that TKO. Cody's able to uh, reverse it into the crossroads, the crossroads. but. Uh, Scorpio Sky kicked out. I thought it was over there. Scorpio yeah. Sky kicked out. I knew Scorpio Sky wasn't winning the match, and of course he didn't. No, because after like, there was a second fine. crossroads after a bit with a pin, and Cody wins. Yeah, how did you go from dark to TNT champion? What fucking. You know planet what? I mean, you yeah, what on? planet are you on? Planet Frat Boy? <laughs> Oh, and then uh, Brody Lee, he interrupts, but he's on that no, Jumbotron No, he was patiently thing. waiting. That's right. There was he no actually, Cody interrupted him. And then, um, yeah, Cody interrupted Brody Lee, who was patiently waiting, to announce that he has a TNT Championship match on Saturday, August 22nd, because I guess we're not having a Dynamite on Wednesday because of the stupid TNT uh uh, NBA playoffs, thing? yeah. So it's gonna be at six o'clock on August twenty second, Saturday. Depending or directly after the basketball game sucks, they're preempted for uh, basketball. It's bullshit. Yeah. And uh, so then, oh, and Brody Lee had the old title when he was talking all that stuff. Yeah, he's gonna trade it in with uh, the frat boy, and he's like, you know what? We're gonna play a game of beer pong, frat boy, because that's what you all you really do. Brody was like, win. oh my ribs. I don't know. Cody oh. might win. They both have a lot of uh, pent up uh, post Vince uh, traumatic stuff to deal with right well, what they need to Drama. do is go on Pornhub find you know violent porn events and then number three to it or not <laughs> <laughs> and then uh we have a big match the AEW Tag Team Championship match we have Jungle Boy of Luchasaurus versus Hangman Adam Page and Kenny Omega one side to Sammy. another you go from I'm not frat a boy maybe I'm a psycho. you go from the American Psycho the American frat boy right off to the Kenny Omega Jesus Christ Race, man. And this was a really great match. Like, wow. yeah, sorry, Cody, but you and Scorpio Sky was the worst match of the night tonight. Like, I, I don't know what it is. I don't right? know. You know what? There was just too much of. Wasn't, uh, wasn't I personally thought there was just a, too much uh, Jurassic Express this week. Cause, like, because you're watching the dark. I watched the dark, and then, then, then you can all, oh, great, I got more. I'm like, two nights in a row? Come on, man. You guys got a bigger lineup than to do that to us. Like, oh, but they're in line for the title. Shut up, creative. You guys fucking suck sometimes. Creative has nothing for you. <laughs> yeah. And then, um, so this is a great match. Really great match. Lots of action. Uh, they, Kenny Omega did the Snapdragon suplex to everyone. Well, except yeah. for his tag team partner. But he even got Marco Stunned at the outside. To yeah. Because he Marco, hates that he little hates guy. Him. Yeah, man. He probably tried to kill him, him the, the two few weeks ago. He tried to kill him. Yeah. yeah. He probably hates him more the than Canadian he hates. Canadian destroyer off the top middle rope and Man, then Kenny had nuts. to give him the post-match beat down. Yeah, that was like, sick. He tried to kill you. He, he, to <laughs> he just like freaking Kenny Omega turned into a Wookiee. <laughs> wow, because you can't even understand. He's just like blah, 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 blah. Okay, am I going too far with this? You spent too much time in the Tokyo Dome, my friend. 
All right, so Japan then, will never destroy me. <laughs> it did to Kenny. And then, so this is a great match. Uh, our description isn't doing justice to it. Um, but then they hit, they call that move the tandem B trigger buckshot lariat, the last call. And uh, one of those guys pinned one of those other guys. Yeah. And Omega and Hangman are still the tag team champions, which I'm fine with. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> like, I really wasn't as excited. If anybody deserves it, it's a young buck. <gasps> Yeah, for sure. Uh, then we had words from Santana Ortiz. Uh, they're not going to apologize ever for what they did to Trent's mom's van nope, last week. No, and they week. made some good cash at the pawn shop on the tires that they took. Yeah, and they trashed uh, their those the best friend's belongings in the locker room. Oh yeah, they poured bleach on the like, white boy's stuff, we're which never is going to apologize. Weird. We hate your mom. Like, <laughs> couldn't you guys like done something a little more mean? Like, maybe poured some pee in a bucket and then pour it on their stuff and then give it back to them or something. They white girled them. Alright, and then we have the uh, tag team appreciation night main segment of the night. It's the uh, Rock and Roll Express oh and God. Arn Anderson and Tully Blanchard. So we got the Young Bucks on the side of the Rock and Roll Express and FTR on the side of the traditionalist Arn and Tully. And uh, they're just going back and forth like Young Bucks a lot of like, oh guys like you and Marty and Sean like paved the way for guys like It was like, like a me. circle jerk. Yeah, it was. It was a big, big it, wrestling circle it jerk. It was. So then FTR was vice versa with the guys in their corner. But then uh, it was. But then Tully, he kind of saved the segment because he was just started, he snapped. Yeah, he started he going off, started talking man. the truth again. Remember when he started pointing at Arn? <laughs> and he's like, and I don't understand this. And he's pointing at the nightmare family symbol yeah. on his uh, sweater vest there. I loved it. I loved it, even though I'm a Cody guy. I, it's weird. He's polarizing character, that Cody. So then, um, yeah, then it uh, goes into a geriatric fight. Like, they, everyone got involved. Oh like, they had to peel those guys off each other. Sean Spears is walking out. Like, he should stick with Tully. Sean Spears is in a good position. Jay doesn't like Sean Spears. I'm giving Sean Spears a chance. You just don't give up on someone, Jay. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, but it got pretty cool because uh, what happened? Uh, oh, he, oh, those scum FTR guys. Yeah, he, but he rips the knee brace off. That weird bald FTR guy, and they sneak attack the blonde haired Midnight Express guy, and they ding him with the knee brace, and then they give him that stuffed pile driver when Buddy comes off the top rope and spikes him in the pile driver, and that yeah. old guy just old dude just right like off spring. The ring. It was just like, wow, and I'm like, that's a veteran seller. But yeah, those not FTR fake. guys are it's scum. Real, man. Remember when they just tore off Rey Mysterio's mask a few episodes they ago? Faked the, injury. These guys are worse than Moxley. Almost. They spit in the face of countries that aren't theirs all the time, and it sickens <sighs> me because they're probably from Texas or somewhere. You know. No comment. I'm not alienating. This guy, Don't. he doesn't speak for me. Texas, we're cool. Don't shoot me. Oh, we're cool. I'll come drink there. And... <laughs> The <laughs> so girl's got pretty accents and oh boobies God. and stuff. All right. So then we have words for Jericho. Hamilton he, he will did break me. other company referee a second personal favor by allowing him to be a referee in AEW, but he has to make sure Kyoto's going to do the right thing tonight. Make the right call. Yeah, do the right thing. Three blind mice. All right. So then what happened? Oh, then we have Sammy doing the pitcher and pitcher. And this was oh, like a yeah. production crew botch and a half. Hey, right, Sammy. 15 seconds fault. until we were back on. Okay, cool. So I got these cards here, guys. Yep, here we go. Having fun. Cute oh, cards. I mean one minute. One minute? I don't, I don't have that many cards left. You told me 15 seconds. Well, you better pick I, that shit I'll up. Go, you want to pick oh, up the cards God, I just yeah. did? Man. Yeah, so not Sammy's fault. Uh, they better give him a dynamite win next week. Yeah. Like, come on. Enough's enough. Stop fucking with our future. And, uh, all right, then what else do we got here? Uh, oh, and then uh, we got our AEW Women's Champion, Hikiro Shida. I'm, like, out of frame here. Got passionate about that. Versus Heather Monroe. Uh, yeah, I don't even think I've seen her job on Dark, Heather Monroe. Why don't they put... Is, like, the roster for women really that right. thin? It's, like, it's because of that uh, championship tag team tournament. Oh, so that's they're right. all tied up with that's stuff, right. I guess. Yeah, you know, Nightmare Sisters, man. Wrestling real. Nightmare Sisters, I love them. All right, and then uh, who won? Oh, yeah, confusing submission finish. Shida wins. That shit was bosh. It looked like Heather Monroe had her in some leg lock, half triangle thing or to something. To me, it looked like she was being put on some weird armbar abdominal stretch thing. It confused me. Confusing submission win, Shida. Okay. Confusing for your love of Joey Janela and Sonny Kiss. Janela dropped the ball. Uh, he was with Penelope Ford, and we know how that went. Yeah. 
Okay. That means I'm engaged to her now. Who, Sonny or Penelope? All right, Both. so then we got the Murder Hawk beat down Jake Roberts promo. So yeah. Jake Roberts is talking some stuff. I couldn't even pay attention because of the beat down in the background. How mad would you be if I just ripped your shirt? I'd be pretty fucking mad, <laughs> okay. man, because I didn't have a chance to do like 100 push-ups before like we got on camera today, right? So yeah, I'd be pissed, man. This would have, this would be a cut. This would be an OT. <laughs> yeah. It'd be on our blooper reel, and there's a lot of them. Um, but uh, so yeah, and then he's ta Jake Roberts talking some shit, and Murderhawk's like beating down five dudes in a locker room, and then Mur Jake, Murderhawk's like, Jake, did you tell him? Did you tell him what I told you to tell him? Rips his shirt off, and, and Jake Roberts is like, oh, <laughs> and then he flips him around, and on the back is like written in lipstick or Everybody something. Everybody dies. Everybody dies. And then Jay had some interesting theories, what happens between them two off camera. Maybe we'll keep those theories off camera for now. It um, puts the lotion on or it gets the hose. Yeah, there's something along those lines. Alright, and then we have our uh, main event, and it's a $7,000 obligation patch. Oh, that would be $7,000 yeah. USD, which would translate to about uh, $10,000. Yeah, who, who, who fronted Orange Cassidy $7,000? Because you can see that bum doesn't have any. He didn't. No one fronted him. If he would have lost, he would have had to pay it back, right? I guess that jacket. And so they're going at it. And I guess Inner Circle and Best Friends are both banned from ringside. So this is a straight up one on one match. And um, Kyoto's there. And he better fucking do the right thing. Because if he doesn't. Floyd the Bat might have to get involved. And you know what? Floyd the Bat did get involved, Jay. Yeah. Turn around! Turn around, Kyoto! Turn around right now! It's the Bat, and then uh, Kyoto. Oh, yeah, no, yeah. No, no, my no, Bat! No, no, my no. Bat! What are you doing? Bat 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 I got you this job! Bat you bat, bat referee! Bat, 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 bat Put Floyd down! Put Floyd down! Bad Floyd. So, yeah, that bat. happened. And then, but. Uh, Kyoto got distracted anyway because all this shit started happening on top of the stage. Best friends inner circle got involved, but they were on top of the stage, so they weren't ringside, you know, technicality. Uh, and then that allowed Jake Hagar to run in and do some crazy suplex move on the Orange Cassidy. Yeah. And then uh, Jericho, one, two, not no, three. And that, was, yeah, and that was a fair count, too. It wasn't no fast count like Kyoto trying to settle a score or nothing. But I'm always on Le Champion's side. No matter what, he could kill a man of his bare hands right in front of everyone. And I would still love you, Chris. All right. So. <laughs> in fact, <laughs> Dave would be like, I got an alibi for you, buddy. Oh, and Anywhere you need me to be, anytime we were there together, Chris. Like, I'm Dead not, Hooker, uh, I'm your guy, is what Dave said. Uh, it's not going to turn into like uh, Happy Gilmore if that guy who was in love with Shooter McGavin was <laughs> Joe Flaherty. That's it. Yeah. Or, we, or Weekend at Jericho's. Oh, uh, I'm hitting that cruise. We were supposed to go this summer, but fucking COVID ruins everything. Uh, we got to kill small businesses. We'll That's not what this is about. Um, yeah. So then you had to run ins, but then, oh shit, yeah. Talk about what happened at the end there, Jay. Uh, I'm gonna just. I'm gonna take steroids and cheat. I'm gonna hit him with Floyd, and then I'm gonna get the easy pin. That's what Lo <laughs> That's what Orange Cassidy did. He hit that lazy man pin, and yeah, yeah he got the biggest win of his career. Easily, hands down, the biggest win of Orange Cassidy's career. This won't hurt Le Champion at all. Like, he can challenge for Moxley's title tomorrow. He won't miss a beat. No. So, I mean, Chris Jericho, he's a giving man, right? Like, Orange Cassidy, he might challenge MJF for the AEW championship after MJF beats Moxley at uh, what I'm assuming will be the all in pay per view. So, or all out pay per view. Yeah. All out. September A 22nd, I believe. AEW Mania. All right, well, that's it for this week's Power Bomb, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Please remember to subscribe and have a great night. You're trash, Dave. <sighs>